The romantic ruins of Dunluce Castle, perched dramatically on the edge of a rocky headland, are a testimony to this region's turbulent past. Local guides are expert at bringing the ruins to life. So this was the home of a noble family? This was the home of the MacDonald family, who originated in Scotland. Uh, they came over here and worked their way to the top of the tree socially. Okay. And this is where they had their base. This, this big room here? Yes. This large hall was built about the 1620s. And this is where the MacDonald Earls, the Earls of Antrim now, wined and dined and entertained their guests. So the more, this is more than a, a windy fortress. Yes, this was actually a very luxuriously appointed palace by the sea. They had tapestries on their walls, possibly wood panelling. They had real Persian carpets on their floors. They had fancy imported European furniture and an Irish harp for entertaining for musical evenings after dinner. Very nice. I can imagine a harp here. During the Middle Ages, Dunluce resisted several sieges. But then, on a stormy night in 1639, dinner was interrupted as this end of the castle crashed into the sea. It took the kitchen and several servants with it. The lady of the house, who didn't like living on this windy bluff anyways, said that's it. She packed up and moved inland, abandoning Dunluce Castle to the forces of nature. 